Hey everybody, it's me Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas and I wanted to show you something really cool that I just noticed over here on one of my shelves. Let's go see. Okay, it is right over here. <laughs> it's my book, The Succulent Manual, in print. Yes, it is finally available as a paperback and I am so stoked. If you can tell, um, let's go have a little look at it inside because it's really windy and kind of noisy out here. And here she is, and here's a table of contents. And it's you know this book is really easy to navigate. Um, you have chapter one is going to be your basic tips, um, everything from light requirements to a DIY soil recipe and different percentages of drainage materials. Um, I recommend depending on the types of plants. And we have Make More Sucks under chapter two, um, learning how to propagate by leaf, by divisions, by cuttings and seeds. And then of course, Succulent SOS under chapter three. That was a very popular one in the ebook. Um, you're going to learn how to diagnose your plants based on the symptoms it's exhibiting and then actions to take to rescue them. So uh, chapter four is regional tips. That's where you're going to look when you're trying to figure out what you need to do to keep your plants happy based on the climate that you're growing in, whether it's really humid and hot or cold or like even a mix of all those things. And um, then we have an identification help under chapter five. And there I explained to you how I identify plants, how I learned to identify them. And um, I think you're going to really like that because it's stuff that I wish someone had told me all in one go right at the beginning. But um, I just kind of had to figure it out myself along the way. But my knowledge is your knowledge now. <laughs> um, Genus tips is chapter six, covers a lot of the most popular varieties. And we have chapter seven, which is going to be on in-ground succulents. If you're wanting to build a succulent garden, that chapter is for you. And then chapter eight, tasks and projects. Chapter nine, a buying guide. And then we have a knowledge bank in the back and our plant journal where you can actually write stuff down. I'll show you real quick. Where are you, plant journal? Oh, and a glossary, of course, because who doesn't love a good glossary? On botanical terms. Here we go. Here's the plant journal and there's this page which has monthly and seasonal notes and then the rest of it is going to be just a blank space for you to log your plants in. The date you got them, the name of the plants, and any notes you wanted to make about them. Like where you got them, what the flowers look like, when they flower, that kind of stuff. I believe there's about 80 different slots in there. And there's me. Index. Yay. <laughs> so that's my baby. And I'm so happy and proud of it. And um, if you get a copy, I just wanted to ask you if you could please leave a review under the Amazon page for this because it really, really helps independent authors help, you know, get more exposure. You know, everyone sees, oh, this one has a lot of good reviews or a lot of reviews or a lot of people have gotten it. And, um, it's always very helpful. So I appreciate y'all and everyone who's already left a review on the ebook. Yep, there it is. And I'm just so happy to finally have it in my hands. And that reminds me, um, there's one thing that this paperback offers that the e-version doesn't, and that's that you can fan yourself with it. <laughs> all right, y'all, thanks so much for all of your support. And I look forward to hearing uh, what you think about my book.